Hey guys, Brett here, connecting from UB Central, and today I have some news about the Assassin's Creed franchise. So let's get started. Recently, Finder.com did an interview with the head of IP at Ubisoft Massive, Martin Holtberg. When asked about the Snowdrop engine appearing in different Ubisoft titles other than The Division, Martin responded by saying, Internally, we try to share as much tech as possible between the studios. It's just more efficient that way. Any Ubisoft team can use Snowdrop now. He went on to state the fact that we do not use lobbies or menus use is the key part of the snowdrop engine. I think that feature could definitely be incorporated into other Ubisoft games like Assassin's Creed. Now, the wording of a statement makes it seem like the next Assassin's Creed game in 2017 won't be using the same engine, but possibly down the line the franchise could use it as it's now available to them. But that's just speculation on my part, who knows, the next Assassin's Creed game could very well be using it. Moving on though, Ubisoft announced a new book series releasing this year called Assassin's Creed Last Descendants. The book series is set in 1860s New York and follows a group of present day teens caught up in the ongoing Templar Assassin battle. The series is written by Matthew J. Kirby, and yes, it is canon for those wondering. If you would like to learn more about this series, be sure to check out the description where you can find out more information. Last but not least, we finally have some information about the Assassin's Creed Syndicate Last Mirahaja DLC. Ubisoft will be live streaming the DLC on February 25th at 3 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash Assassin's Creed, which can be found in the description as well. Now, some of you might be thinking, will the DLC actually release on the same day because that usually is the case, but the answer is no. Your boy UB Central took it to Twitter and asked community manager Escoblades if it will be releasing on February 25th, and he said it isn't, and they're playing it ahead of time. So after that, I did some more digging and found out it could possibly release on March 1st, which would make sense, but again, that isn't confirmed, just really likely. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. As always, to stay up to date on everything Ubisoft, make sure to subscribe right here on UB Central. Please like this video and subscribe for more from Ubi Central.